My husband came on Friday with a brand new motor car. He told me I could drive it. I said, Brian, you're a star. We drove down to the boozer for a vodka and a fag. Then, of course, we had to celebrate the purchase with a shag. We go dogging. We go dogging. We're a treat for any passers-by out jogging. We do it because we found that when people crowd around, it is somehow more profound when you're dogging. Uh, well, now, some of the older members of the audience might have a little bit of difficulty with this one, but um, I just say, hang on in there, and I think the meaning will shine through. <laughs> Bill, how are you doing? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, if you are still a little bit in the dark at the end, um, just ask a young person or uh, Google. Just don't take your computer for repair immediately afterwards. <laughs> well, we drove down to the far end of the car park back of Asda. A threesome was hard at it in a sporty little Mazda. It made it more exciting as they pressed against the glass. And when Brian got his torch out, you could see right up her ass. They were dogging. They were dogging. Believe me, they were more than merely snogging. But though her chicks were parted, she spoilt it when she parted and we wanted to get started on our dogging. Now, how are the older members doing now? Not finding it too impenetrable? Those of a sensitive disposition, <laughs> leave now. Well, we rushed back to our car because we were randy as two goats. But being late November, we had on our duffel coats. We should have stripped off first before getting back inside. Because disrobing in a smart car isn't easy. Have you tried? We were dogging. We were dogging. In the struggle, poor old Brian tore his frogging. Our apparel was misguided because when our heads collided, Brian's manhood then subsided. But that's dogging. Well, I admit this was a setback, but I wasn't beaten yet Cause I'm really very handy with my man's beef bayonet I quickly had his flagpole up, responding to my touch And the next thing I was upside down and staring at the clutch We were dogging, we were dogging The heat was on to stop the windows fogging Thank God for plastic sheeting, well one must protect the seating Cause the fabric takes a beating when you're dogging well, by now a crowd had gathered, it was cheering fit to burst And Bry was close to peeking, though he likes me to come first My legs were out the sunroof as I really hit my stride Then Bry abruptly stopped and cried, the browsers are outside! We were talking! We were talking! We were so alarmed our arteries were clogging But we took it on the chin when the coppers with a grin said Can anyone join in with your dogging? <laughs> As you can imagine, Brian, I was thrilled to bits. I love to feel a cup was crunching in between my tits. My ecstasy was mounting, I was feeling so alive. When who should wander by but a bloke from Channel 5? He likes dogging! He likes dogging! He signed us for a series, he was flogging. So watch out for Brian, me, and the odd celebrity. We were shagging on TV, nightly dogging. And we'll be dogging. We'll be dogging. Oh, think of all the limelight we'll be hogging. Well, the credits show my hand massaging Brian's gland. The presenters, Russell Brand, lovely dogging. <laughs> Those of a sensitive disposition, <laughs> leave now. <laughs> well, we rushed back to our car because we were randy as two goats. But being late November, we had on our duffel coats. We should have stripped off first before getting back inside. Because disrobing in a smart car isn't easy. Have you tried? We were dogging. We were dogging. Absolutely wonderful. I mean, they're so clever. It's so brilliantly written, and musically, it's absolutely fantastic as well. I'm getting it. Yes, it's true. <laughs> I'm getting it. whoop de doo It's witty, it's uh, energetic, it's topical. A bit raunchy. A bit raunchy, have fun. It is too late, it is too late.
late, it isn't too late to be famous Having a roast with Cal and Best and both of the proclaimers See us here, see us there, see us bloody everywhere Check into a clinic, don't be a silly It's meant to be famous So what, I hear you ask, exactly is the reason for the credit crunch? The fault lies with the banks, whose senior personnel are frankly out to lunch. Thank heavens for health and safety! Hooray for the nanny state! I love the health and safety song with the girl guys. I thought it was very funny. Hadn't heard that before. Really clever. I knew I had to do something to assuage the girls' regrets. So we spent the night with a tube of lube putting condoms on courgettes. There's a Matter if you sing out of tune, so long as you're German. It's one of those things that looks deceptively simple, but I think it's incredibly hard work, and they do a fantastic job. Yeah, great night out. Thoroughly recommend it. Oh!